Hey guys, Jake Duncan, Student Life Wellness. A uh, quick video on the topic of gut health, um, leaky gut, intestinal permeability. If you're reading anything online, you're going to read a lot about the immune system being in the gut, the importance of healing your gut. These are all really, really big, good topics to discuss. Um, however, the question is, how do you heal it? How do you know if you have leaky gut? Is gluten an issue for everybody? Is it an issue just for some people? Um, is there, a, is there a spectrum, celiac, gluten sensitivity, gluten intolerance? Are these all the same thing? Are they different? Um, is there a good test for this? And up till now, there really hasn't been one that I just love that would really help people uh, differentiate and, and wade through the, the, the muddy waters of, is gluten an issue for them? And just because you're not celiac does not mean that gluten, and, and, and again, I'm even catching myself here, gluten is not the only problem that's in wheat but I'll show you this in just a second. But wheat in general, um, is wheat an issue for you? Do you need to be on a gluten-free diet? The question is, maybe, most likely, but uh, is there a really good test to show you where you are along this spectrum? Um, we're about to introduce a really cool test called a wheat zoomer. So here's kind of our little informational thing about it. We got these if you have, if you have questions and want more information about this. But how does your body react to wheat? This is a huge, huge topic. And awesome that we finally have a test that can show you show this so again I'm gonna give you a quick overview I'm gonna show you my test results which are a little disheartening um, but they also show me that I need to be more diligent with my diet what I'm exposed to and go a little bit harder after healing my gut but nonetheless I want to show you this also uh, just to show you how cool a test it is but then to give you a preview and see if this is something you would want to do um, contact us if you have more information about this this is just a quick little test um, so I want to show you here my test Jacob Duncan um, celiac panel was negative leaky gut panel positive definitely got some leaky gut intestinal permeability issues definitely have some wheat germ issues gliadin which is in gluten which is just one component but an important component have a few issues but even crazier than that is this part right here so this is the non-gluten wheat panel, and this is absolutely wild. So just so many things that we didn't even realize existed within um, the wheat that people could be reacting to. Big, big, big topic. So awesome test. If you're interested in this, kind of seeing if all the hard work you've been putting in is working, is your gut healing? Do you have still have markers for intestinal permeability or leaky gut? Um, are, you, are you gluten intolerant? Do you want to make sure that you're not celiac? Because celiac doesn't always present the same way, and sometimes um, it just shows itself as malabsorption and not always crazy digestive symptoms. And so, um, very important to kind of get celiac off the table in a lot of a lot of instances. So this is a great test with great sensitivity and great specificity. Um, if you're positive, you're positive is basically what that means. If the test is positive, then you know that it's accurate um, with a with a high confidence level. So. Awesome test, Wheat Zoomer. If you're interested, please contact us or the nutritionist, anybody with the team, and they can talk to you more about how to get this done. It's a blood test, and we will have it drawn up here at the clinic. So if you have any questions, send us an email, info at stewardinglifewellness.com, or just send us a message through our Facebook page, through our website, whatever works best for you. Thanks for watching.